Good morning, Cindy. Good morning. We're going to talk about our new show, The Travel Symposium, which we're doing for the second time, right? Yeah, and it's going to be in person, which is super exciting. Thanks. It's something we've both dreamed about, I think, individually for years and years. years. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then we went to the show together the last time we went to a travel show and was like, God, we should do our own. We should do it. So it's our stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. I know. Walking around all those booths, it yep. was like finding little things like gems you're trying to look for that one thing that's unique or the one thing that's not a big cruise company i mean or not right. a yeah and there just aren't that many travel shows to begin with right so i don't know but i mean i live in los angeles so you think if there was a travel show they would be, be it would be here and there typically is just the travel and adventure show that's yeah. really the only show that exists for travelers that i've been able to find there might be pockets of them in other communities which we'd love to hear about if anybody knows of any yeah. um but and i know that show is all over the country so they do it in dallas and san francisco and other places around the world throughout the or around the country throughout the year but we, you and i've gone at least twice if not three times we've gone a couple times together right. um and it's it's kind of a letdown right you go yeah. really excited and you're going to learn so much about travel and there's like you said there's just there are some gems let's not say that there's no reason to go that's why we've repeatedly gone back but it's not worthy of a full day. It's, you know, it's not. Yeah, worth, it, it, yeah. yeah, and that's what's frustrating. It's like you said, we live on the West Coast um, mm -hmm. where there'd be plenty of opportunity right. to have multiple different kinds of travel shows throughout the year. Travel is a big thing that people are spending their, you know, hard earned dollars on us, I think, especially now. And it was every time we'd get excited, we're going to meet some travelers, learn some new things. And then it was just like this letdown, like, you know it's like half it's like we'd be there a couple hours and like kind of be like oh like this now what yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is it you know and so I think when we walked out I think it was the second year we said you know we looked at each other and went let's just do this ourselves and let's make it really small um and then of course we had those ideas and then we had a pandemic so that didn't happen but we did do it online last year um, and we focused on the things that we liked that were at the show so the few things that we loved was meeting small tour providers right like yes. the people that bike across france or the guy who does the car trips right, right? like those right. ones yeah the yeah and there was a woman that wrote her own she's been writing her own travel guides her and her husband and yeah. they their the booth was super plain but they were approachable you could sit and have right. a conversation and that's what we wanted to focus on we realized there are other people out there doing some really unique things they're just not they're kind of you have to find them <laughs> and we want to find them and yeah. with our YouTube channel now, we found quite a few of them. So yeah. we want to share them with others. <laughs> yeah, we've curated a really nice list. And you know, there's other places. I mean, if you're looking for information on big cruises or big tour companies, there's a uh, plentiful of information right there's lots of stuff online there's lots of ways to get access to that but it's harder to get access to these little smaller um organizations that are doing it so that was the one thing and then the other thing that we liked about our tour the adventure show was the education so there yeah. were a few sessions right we sat in on a few sessions and took away some really good travel tips and ideas i mean i right. even made notes on a couple of times but yeah i did too there's like some couples doing some information on how they save money like right. budget saving tips or points and miles or you know how you make things we've shared on our videos too as well cindy and have talked to others about so we liked that right we, we also like liked the small opportunities which were hard to find again because there's so many people and there's not really places i mean they had areas set up for the speakers but then you know the speakers jumping in so even if you sat next to some other travelers because you know this show attracts travelers and you're hoping to like hey where have you been and it's like the thing we we talk about all the time people don't get a chance to we don't get a chance to share our trips with or other talk people. about talk yeah about and them. you and we know that we learn so much from other travelers so having those moments is wonderful so we do know that in the travel and adventure shows and the ones that we've attended we've not connected with travelers so that was also a really important yeah. aspect of our show this year in San Diego is we want to create opportunities for you to network, meet travelers, maybe yeah. to travel with, if not just to share your stories with like-minded folks that you can enjoy talking with about travel. Right. Um, that does not happen at that big show. They don't have a 
Yeah, they don't, they don't have, have like a mixer or something. We will. We are going to have as many right. things during the day and the weekend. Yeah, you, there weren't yeah. opportunities to actually sit and chat and, you know, you had to try to forcibly create that. And people, because they didn't have anything set up like that, people aren't in that. They weren't in that mindset. They're going just to kind of like shop what's there, so to speak. And yeah. we want to definitely provide opportunities to connect travelers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is I'm going to put a plug in on this lovely villa that we got in San Diego, which is right near the water. And it's a big property. And that was part of the reason we selected this location was there's lots of places there'll be nooks and crannies to sit and talk and chat. It will feel welcoming and warm. So you won't be in a big, you know, um, hotel or a big ballroom where there's not seating. There'll be seating. There'll be places to sit and have a cup of coffee or, a, you know, something and chat with somebody, um, even when you're not in a session or networking with somebody in an official capacity, you'll be able to step aside and do that. So we wanted to create sort of a homey, talky, you know, yeah, patty yeah. area. And I think that this venue is really going to give us that opportunity. So super excited about our show. And, um, join us so you should check yeah, out you online. Better grab your ticket because yes. again as you mentioned since we picked a venue that's like mm -hmm. more homey which literally it is it's a like a, a large home that's up right. for sale for someone i noticed um there's not space i mean there's just not we can't we're gonna have be limited capacity mm -hmm. so it is limited capacity and we've got lots of fun unique things i was chatting to people about yesterday i mean 10 person whale watches and food tours and other things to add on. So yep. please so grab your go ticket. Go to the link. The link in the description. <laughs> grab the link. Yep. Yeah. And uh, come uh, join us. Get your ticket before they sell out. So hope to see you all in San Diego. And that's a little bit why we're doing it.